Cowboys start quick, but get caught at the end. I'm Barry Trammell, along with OSU rider Nathan Ruiz. Wednesday night here at Gallagher Ibar Arena, Oklahoma State gets off to a 19-point lead in the first nine minutes. But the Sooners come back, catch them in the second half, win going away, 70 to 61. Nathan. It looked like to me OSU just ran out of gas. Yeah, that seemed to be the case. OSU obviously playing a little shorthanded. Uh, added a manager to the roster today, if that kind of tells you about the state of the team. But uh, dismissed three players a week ago today, and, and now they're left with only uh, really seven rotation players. Six different players played over 25 minutes. Cam McGriff played the entirety of the game. Uh, it's just kind of a case where, where Mike Boynton doesn't have the numbers right now and is depending on a lot of guy, or a few guys to do a whole lot. Cowboys have a one-point lead with 7.36 left in this game but they only scored two points the rest of the way. Oklahoma substituting liberally, eight guys playing uh, a lot of minutes, uh, really had the uh, stamina at the end. Oklahoma State's worn out. Cam McGriff only gets two shots in the second half. Lindy Waters, who was spectacular early, uh, couldn't sustain it. He finished with 20 points, but he had 14 in the first uh, nine minutes. Uh, it's a game where the Cowboys really just, uh, they came out aggressive, they came out uh, fired up, they came out emotional. That's hard to sustain when you have no relief. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Lindy Waters, like you mentioned, started out hot, made his first five shots. Uh, the last of them put OSU up 28 9, gave them that nine point lead or 19 point lead, but just weren't able to hold on to it. They missed their next seven shots, missed all but two of their next 14. Uh, if not for a Curtis Jones three pointer to end the half, OSU would have been in a pretty precarious situation. Uh, were able to cling on, battle back and forth there in the middle part of the second half, but like you mentioned, they just weren't able to score that at the end. Missed their last eight shots, missed their last eight three-pointers. And it was just a case where maybe those tired legs kind of just took over. It's, uh, you know, the Cowboys shot it well from three-point range you know, most of this night. Uh, that's the way they're going to have to win games down there because they do have good shooters with Waters, with, uh, uh, with Jones, uh, with McGriff. They all knocked in big shots tonight. But uh, the Sooners are good on defense. They're long in places. They can get in your way. And, and Oklahoma State's offense really stagnated. The longer the game went, the more stagnant that OSU offense got. Yeah, it seemed, you know, at a, at a time it seemed like Curtis Jones was maybe the only guy with a bit of energy. He took out a fan's popcorn right over here. But beyond that, there were a lot of cases where it seemed like guys, like you mentioned, were staying in the same spot. There wasn't a whole lot of movement going on. And, and OSU was really, really thriving on that offensively. You know, offense has been a struggle for them even before these dismissals. So now they're in a situation where they're trying to find offensive offense from different guys. Michael Weathers was a big part of this team. And now obviously he's gone. Maurice Kalou is a guy who's picking things up a little bit. Now he's gone. So it, it's a matter of Mike Boyne trying to figure things out still in a lot of ways and he'll get to do it on Saturday against his alma mater. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's look ahead. Cowboys on Saturday. South Carolina comes to town. Mike Boynton's alma mater. Going to be a big game for Boynton, even if he wasn't crazy about the matchup. Yeah, you know, I talked to him over the summer about it, and he said, I don't love it. He doesn't like facing his, his alma mater. He doesn't like all the, the hoopla, the distractions that maybe come with that. But he's obviously got a lot of connections to that university. He was on the coaching staff there, spent a year with Frank Martin, the Gamecocks' current coach. So, But it'll be a big game for the Cowboys. You know, the Gamecocks are 5-1 are and one in the SEC, really uh, off to a hot start in the league. And, and it's an opportunity for the Cowboys to maybe get themselves straight. Well, we'll see how... Uh, Boynton tries to rally these shorthanded troops of his OSU basketball. Stay tuned for further Cowboy coverage here on News OK and every day in the Oklahoma.